Hallelujah! We are going to shake our body a little bit more. So that Satan and his cohorts will know that we are alive. So please stand on your feet and join me as we welcome the very beautiful songstress with a beautiful voice to lead us this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Casey Solomon. You are so good to me. Jesus, you are so beautiful. 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 Jesus, you and the beauty of the sky How you made the moon You made the sun and stars Hey! Jesus You are so beautiful Beyond imagination You are so and just give God the glory. I am blessed and thrilled every day to listen to my children right from behind me here come out every day and bless us with songs it's a blessing it's a blessing give her another big hand please give her another big hand let go let go
like I have said a few times, to let means to allow. Which means if you don't allow him, he will not arise. Which also means that God arising in your life, you have a part to play. Because that is one of the problems of the church. We enjoy to sit back and let God do everything. While we are waiting for God, God is waiting for us. Miracles or miracle is partnership between man and God. Between divinity and humanity. See? People who are casual with God, life make them casual. People who are serious with God, serious things happen in their lives. That is why God can take a nobody and turn him to a somebody. But it is not for people who are laid back. I started talking about Jacob many days ago now. Jacob, a human being, stopped a spirit. Some of you think it's just a joke. What? We are just joking. No, no, no. It's serious. A human being stopped a spirit. He said, I will not let you go. The man began to beg him. He said, please, please don't break. Let me go now. Spirit, oh. Spirit, they beg human being. <laughs> this is a, it's a wonder. So that's why you now see the spirit now said to him he said you have power with God and with man and you have prevailed. <laughs> because it's a wonder. A man who touched his thigh and the bone he broke. Yet he could not release himself to go. He said I will not let you go until you bless me. I know say you're not the ordinary person. If you be ordinary person, you can't touch me like that. Then bone broke at once. Say if you feel broke my bone, you feel bless me. So he hold up. Human being held his spirit until the spirit performed. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violent take it. Take it by force. There is no casual attitude when it comes to God. When it comes to taking things, not, not that God doesn't want to give you. It is because of the opposition. The devil never wants you to get anything good. So he must oppose you. But you must fight back. And say no. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the 24th day on this mountain with God. And I am alive. When you count the living, you count me among them. Yes. When they, are, they, they count those way, way, way never die, they go count me. One, two, three. Don, I have a friend who, I, I've told them this, I have a friend who, when he calls me, immediately he calls me, the first thing he wishes, I said, I'm alive. <laughs> he calls me Mr. President. He will say, Mr. President, I am alive. <laughs> Then he will ask me, are you alive? I say, if I know they're alive, I know for the answer you now. 
Oh my God. Don't take it for granted. You can bribe anybody in Nigeria, but you can't bribe death. Do you understand? 90% of Nigerians can be bribed. But death can't bribe death. <laughs> you can't. The only person that can stop it is God. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have another one of my sons. Now, they, they are all unique, different. One of the things that makes Donald Dunze different is because his father was my friend. See? That makes a very big difference. Every time I see him, my mind goes back. I remember when I, I tell the father, meet me at so and so place. He will be there. Come and do this for me. He will be there. Now, the father is gone. But the son is alive. I am so thrilled every time I see him. It makes me know, it convinces me that there is, just as there is generational curse, there is generational blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, help me to welcome this generational blessing. Reverend Don Adunze Junior, clap your hands. Who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, among the gods, who is like thee? Glory. In holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. That one is suffering from corona. Can you shout hallelujah? One more time, it's good to be home. He has no place like home. Join me one more time. Let's celebrate the lion of Africa. My papa. I love you, sir. I love the way you father me. Thank you, papa, for this platform. I celebrate you. seven days to go and it's going to be seven days of heavy testimonies if you're a part of it let me hear your amen this morning oh this is evening now i need you to understand something happened to me about 2 a.m when i looked at the time it's not very usual but i woke up and sat down i couldn't sleep and then suddenly Call it a trance because I was awake and I'm not used to that. That is the truth. And then I had this revelation of somebody under a serious bondage, a serious affliction, and there was an oppressor, an oppressor that wanted to deal with him. And he said, I'm going to lock you up today. Nobody to help. And then he took him held him by the belt and dragged him to where the police station was supposed to be only to get there and discover that the police 
has vacated the environment and there was nobody everywhere was empty and he was wondering why now where have all have they all gone and then he looked at the person and said there must be something special about you why will it be when i want to lock you up that the police will leave their premises he said in that case i cannot do anything to you he said right now i'm going to pay you back for bringing you here he put the money in his pocket and gave to this guy and said just go your way i don't know what you're carrying just go your way and as he just turned i just opened my eyes and discovered i was still sitting down i said and i knelt down i said god what are you saying and god spoke to me and he said heaven is on a journey to terminate your journey of shame every journey you are being taken to bring shame to your life to your family to your business it has just been terminated i didn't say it will i say it has just been terminated that journey of shame has just been terminated that journey of disappointment has just been terminated that embarrassment has just been terminated if you're that person let me hear your amen today and hear me when i asked god what was it that was special about this person that made this he said because this person was coming back from the altar and that is why i am going to speak to this evening on back from the altar in a few minutes i need you to dance in advance for your testimonies that is one of the things that takes place first in a shrine no man has a sex until you are able to give him a dance you are supposed to worship praise him it doesn't matter you don't talk to a king when you have not paid obeisance i want someone right now to give the lord listen look for space if somebody by your side is not dancing just three minutes something is about to hit you today right from this altar any altar that is speaking against you is going down as i'm talking now as you're dancing is going down as you're laughing is going down somebody's about to get married in your family somebody's about to get a visa in your family hey come on let's go let's go everybody wherever you are No, listen, listen. Papa, this meeting, the, the atmosphere has changed. Not because I came, it changed before, before I came here. There's a power shift in the spirit. There's a shift in the spirit. And I need, I need you to connect. There are people watching online.
Lift up your hands, lift up your hands. The power of God is in this house. Ah, change of a change of garment, a change of garment, a change of garment. You will not wear it again. You will not wear it again. You will not wear it again. No more shame. No more delay. No more disappointment. No more embarrassment. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Bigger than all my troubles. Bigger than all my troubles. He's bigger than everything. God is bigger than every mountain. I can Yes, yes, yes. He's bigger than everything. God is bigger than every mountain. I can oh can oh see. Just the keyboard. Lift up your hand. There are six of you. Change of garment. You cannot wear that garment again. If your father wore it, it's not for you to wear. Lift your hand wherever you are. The power of God is coming upon you right now. Hey, he's coming upon you right now. The ushers, help me. Identify those six people and carry them here. Something is about to happen to you. You will not suffer what they suffered. You will not go through what they went through. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. There are six. There are six angels. There are six. There are six. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Somebody help at the back. Somebody help at the back. Power of God. I intercept that conspiracy. I block that conspiracy. Change of garment. Change of garment. Lift up your hands. Upstairs, downstairs. Just lift up your hands. Just lift up your hands. I, Jesus. Yes, that's number two. Somebody help! Somebody help! Somebody help! There's an angel on my right. There's an angel. There's an angel. Hey, 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 this is heavy. Abaka toka take it in the head. Rambrada Sagado Segede Hira. Lift up your hands. There are two. There are two. There are two. It is not your turn. Yes, yes, yes. Power of God. One more. Anybody that an ancient altar is holding. Every ancient stool, every ancient rod, catch fire now, catch fire now. 
release 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 power of God father do that which makes you God I release you you will not wear that old garment again bring that lady on a striped shirt yes lift your hand lift your hand up lift your hand up lift your hand up yes this is your time is broken thank you Jesus numbers 23 numbers 23 I read just verse 1 and 2 back from the altar numbers 23 verse 1 and 2 and Balaam said unto Balak build me here seven altars and prepare me here seven oxen and seven rams and Balak did as Balaam had spoken and Balak and Balaam offered on every altar a bullock and a ram. Father, let even the lawful captive be set free. Do that which makes you God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Somebody shout a better amen. Ah, Lahazagado Shigarabosia. Sit down, back from the altar. I'm going to share with us five things that take place at the altar so that you understand what you are doing. And I believe that after this meeting, you can look the devil in the eye and tell him, go to hell where you belong. There's no life that does not have an altar behind it. How far you run, how long you enjoy what you have. It's not about getting things, Papa. It's about keeping them. It's not getting married, it is staying married. It's not getting a job, it's keeping the job. Is somebody listening to what I'm saying today? If you will enjoy peace where you live, it depends on the altar behind you. I don't want to go about the altar there are so much about it but i want to narrow down to why the altar and five things that take place at the altar can i assure you today that after this service you can look at anybody who has traveled to a shrine and tell the person i am coming from my shrine i i have the audacity to welcome you to the shrine of the almighty let god arise is the shrine of the almighty hey let them go on their journey you have just come on your journey by the time you return somebody will bow to you something will bow to you if you're that person let me hear your amen i rush through this number one is that the altar is a place of meeting It's a place of meeting. Numbers 17 verse 4. Let me show you something. Come on, come on, come on. Give it to me on this screen. Numbers 17 verse 4. Look at this. And thou shalt lay them up in the tabernacle of the congregation before the testimony where I will meet with you. That is why when people go to shrines and come back, 
they have a boldness you cannot imagine. If people go to a shrine and get, get audacity, if you have been in let God arise, you should have double of what they have. If believers can come to the altar with the same mindset that an unbeliever goes to the shrine with, we will collect a lot of things from God. What it means, I had Papa. Listen to me. For, for me, let me not say for others. I am part of Let God Arise. I don't come when I am to preach. I follow it from day one. I am fasting together. My family is fasting. And I have followed. I had Papa talk yesterday about divinity and humanity meeting at a spot. That is what, how can you meet with God and the human being will stand against you? The problem we have is that you don't miss board meeting, but you miss night vigil. That is the problem. You don't miss management meeting, but you miss communion meeting. The altar is a place of meeting. It's a place of meeting. That is why a man can travel from here to Kumasi. A man can travel from here to India. A man will not count the cost and he will travel from here to Ethiopia because he's looking for power and he's going there to meet with some spirits only to come back and sit in his house and give instructions and people are shivering I am coming back from the altar I don't know where you are coming from but listen to me as you leave this premises today you will not need to talk they will see your face and they will see God if you are that person let me hear your amen I have the audacity every time I am with God and come out that is why I can look at anybody no matter the size of your head it's not i have a big head is somebody listening to me tonight no witch must intimidate you again who who which which is a small one witchcraft sucks blood we drink it's sucking and drinking which one pass what are you talking about it's a place of meeting. And that is a five minutes meeting, Papa, that takes care of 50 years. And that is why the devil will do anything to make any man miss a meeting with God. The devil will do anything. Will give you another appointment. Will give you another thing to do. Will give you sickness so that you miss the meeting. If there's anywhere you need to go to first when you're sick look for a meeting with God. I'm going to be moving very fast. So number one is that there's a meeting. There's a meeting. I can meet with God and you will matter. By the time I meet with God he will control your spirit. Even when you're the enemy you start working for me. By the reason of this meeting, everything that is working against you, I reverse it right now. Hey, I reverse it. I reverse it right now. There's a reversal of your shame. There's a reversal of your disappointment. There's a reversal. 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 I turn it around. Can you rise on your feet and turn around? I turn it around. I turn it around. I turn it around. Somebody shout a better amen. amen. Sit down. Number two. At the altar, there is no distance. I need you to register it that, that there is no distance at the altar. Somebody listen to me. That is why on this altar, we can speak 
to somebody that is in America and is going to be working there. That is why when you come to their altar and you go to their shrine, they have instruments of reducing distance. What is that instrument? Basin of water, mirror, cold run, black cloth or white cloth. And once they pick it, they will tell you, mention the person's name and the person will appear there. What am I saying today? On this altar, listen to me, your brother that is not here will be affected by this night. Somebody is about to get married in your family this year. Somebody is about to finish the house he's building this year. Somebody is about to get a visa that have lost for six years. Somebody is about to get a job that he has been waiting for. That contract that will make your family enjoy. Somebody is about to hit it right now. There is no distance. I manifest in your village. I manifest in your office. Any man that is blocking you in the office from this altar right now, I move them out. I move them out. Somebody holler amen three times. As I'm talking to you now, there are things that are going to shift in your body. There are things that are going to leave your body. There are things that are going to move out of your body. I'm moving fast because I want to bring you somewhere. Listen to me. There is no distance. There is no distance. And that is why I can call my brother here and pray for him. It will happen to, where, to him wherever he is. Let God arise. It's not just for you. It is for your entire family. Somebody who cannot pray will get deliverance because of your prayer. Somebody who cannot do anything will be delivered just because of you. If you're that person, let me hear your amen. Now, that brings me to the third point. At the altar, it is one for all. All for one. It is one for all and all for one. What it simply means is that one person can stand and represent the whole family. What it means is that one person can stand and represent the whole community. What it means is that one person, I don't need your whole family. Yes, I will want them to come to church, but if you're here, something good is about to happen to your family. Papa, that is why a man who goes to shrine does not carry his family. You want to attack a family, you carry only yourself. Nobody knows where you're going. But he comes to the shrine and carries a whole family, father, mother, children, and locks all of them in a pot and keeps them there. The one in Lagos is crying. The one in America cannot return. The one in the village is stranded. And they are all bottled up in the pot, in a shrine. One person did that, and the whole family is suffering. If one man can go to a shrine and lock up everybody, then one man can manifest and let God arise and lose everybody. I release your brother, I release your sister, I release that marriage. I release your house rent. I release your project. I had, I'm talking to somebody. You are delivered right now. You are delivered right now. Anybody who said you cannot get married. Who is that person? He's going to eat rice on your wedding day. If they say that house cannot be finished. I declare it's going to be finished. Ah, hear me hear me hear me hear me it is an error for you to stand here for yourself it is an error because there are certain things God needs to pass through your family pass to your family but not through you it's supposed to come through your brother. It's supposed to come through your sister. Come here. 
ahanda haya kataya katushi anda hadeze likabaro shatahia ai kaboto kotu yanda your change your change your change has begun right from this place i release you to your glory i release you to your glory i release you to your glory listen to me today one for all all for one when jesus went on the cross all of us were there on the cross that is why people are suffering and they don't know how it happened how did it happen i don't care how it happened i only know that my bible says i sought for one man to stand in the gap on their behalf before me while men are standing on the shrine, at the shrine let there be one before me i sought for one i passed through you hey kayele kasua insis abaregaha esukate dagusha lebra rakatole ketia I pass through you to your brother that is not here. I pass through to your husband that is not here. Whatever that is catching your husband that you cannot listen to you, I reverse that charm now. Let it backfire. Somebody shout a better amen. Oh, let me bring you to the third fourth one. I need, I need you to understand this. At the altar, Every altar moves with a token. Listen to this. No altar operates with a to without a token. Every altar has a token. What is a token? What is a token? Isaiah 44. Look at verse 25. Isaiah 44, look at verse 25. Hey. That from, let's start from verse 24. Look at this. I want to show you something because we are going to mess up some people right now. And just will travel from this mountain to somebody's wardrobe. Somebody's wardrobe will be burnt overnight this night. Somebody's altar will catch fire as I'm talking now. We are coming down from the altar. There are certain things that cannot stand against you anymore. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh how many things? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't understand. That maketh how many things? I am the one that stretched forth the heavens alone. Nobody helped me. I am the one that spreads abroad the earth by myself. Now, look at what he's saying. I am the one that frustrated the tokens of liars and make it diviners. Those who give madness, suddenly they will become mad by themselves. Those who make people mad will become mad. I reverse the madness. I reverse the stagnancy. I reverse kidney failure. I reverse cancer. Whatever that was programmed, let there be a reversal right now. Now listen, let me, let me bring this. No altar approach without a token. What it means, sir, is at the altar, everything is a weapon. What is a token? A token is a material or device given to you from the altar, transferring the power of the altar to your hands so that you can use the power without going back to the shrine. I give you a little example. Tokens, tokens, tokens. If you go to a shrine, they will say, take this towel. This towel is a face towel. But the moment it comes to the altar, and the man takes it and speaks into it. It's no longer a face tower. It has become a token carrying the power of the altar. Spirit don't enter. You bring stick. 
He speaks into it, stick becomes weapon. You bring water and he speaks over it, it is no longer water. It becomes the balm of Gilead. You bring the oil. It is olive oil. You can use it to fry plantain. But the moment it comes to the altar, it becomes anointing oil. The acacia, the cinnamon, the frankincense, the mer and the salt will enter. It becomes liquid fire. And you call it the anointing oil. And somebody drinks it, it becomes a weapon. That is why you come to the altar and they give you tokens. And listen to me, there are some of you that are suffering because somebody is using a token against you. They use the token. Baba, it's like remote control. They place you and stop. I was traveling, sir, right there at Motama Mohammed International Airport. We were sitting down, waiting for the flight for us to start boarding. Papa, the man sitting with me was going to Japan. And then suddenly they mentioned the flight. He got up, and that was when I looked at him very well. I could see money on two legs. He got up, picked up his briefcase. His briefcase was alligator skin. He picked up his winter jacket. He picked up his purse. He said, gentlemen, that's my flight. I said, God be with you. He looked at me. He didn't reply me. And he left. As he left that cubicle of KFC where we were, he took the first step, second step, third step, fourth step, and he stood still. His winter jacket, his briefcase was with him. He stood still. People were passing him and going, he was standing still. I observed him. I was watching him. Five minutes gone, he was standing still. Seven minutes, eight minutes, people were going to board. He was standing. I said, no, this is not normal. May God plant a watchman around you. Papa, I got up and I came to him. I looked at him. I said, are you alright? He said, I don't know. I said, why are you stopping? He said, I don't know. They called your flight. You're going to Japan. He said, yes. And he said to me, I don't know whether I should continue or whether I should go back. Somebody used the remote and placed him on pause. Stop. Don't go. Don't return. Token. He's operating it from inside bedroom, but he's stopping somebody at the airport. I looked at him. I said, "Can I, can I, can I pray for you?" He said, "Please." I put my hand on his shoulder, and I said, "I intercept every arrow against you. I reverse it now." You will fulfill destiny. I release you now in the name of Jesus. He shook his head. He said, what's going on? I said, they called your flight. He said, please, who are you? I said, it doesn't matter. Catch your flight. The man started running. Every power that kept your project on pause. Everything that put your marriage on pause. Everything that moved you and paused you. Something is happening at this altar. Token. Hey, you have your salt. Where is the salt? Get it now. Ah, your hand. Give me my own. Give me one. Salt. Ah, your token from the altar. That one refuses to be. It ceases to be what you bought in the shop. Token. This one is not for okra soup no this one is for your glory give me one I want to handle one in my hand token from the earth papa your own I will not reject this one this is direct this is direct this one will reach Enugu somebody listen to me lift up that sword 
I refuse to be stranded. I refuse to be stranded. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. Open your mouth and pray that prayer right now. My fight, I refuse to be stranded. I, in the name of Jesus. I cannot be stranded. I refuse to be stranded. I cannot be stagnated. I cannot be Are you praying? I cannot be stopped. Lava I cannot be garaged. No I cannot be I cannot be stopped. Are you praying? Tokun, Tokun, Tokun. Hey, are you praying? In the name of Jesus, I shared this before, Papa. I was traveling early morning, five thirty, Enugu to Abakaleke, where they call Bible Society Junction. Early in the morning because it was a Saturday and there was environmental sanitation. I needed to be in a backlake before 7 a.m. Bible Society Junction. I was approaching and this was a man on the road with white cloth and a basket in the middle of the road. And he was moving around and making incantations. Moving around. He saw my headlamp. He stepped by the side so that I can pass. I am the son of a troublemaker. I stopped because I knew what was going on there. And I stepped out of my car and I came out and I looked at the basket, sir. There was an egg that they tied with a red ribbon. That's a token against productivity. There was a dead lizard. That's a token against life. There were cowries, cowries inside, a token against prosperity. And they were all there. I looked at this man, he was looking at me. Ah, something came up inside of me. I went back to my car, Papa. I pulled my token, a bottle of oil. I always live in my car. And I pulled it out. And I came to the, to the center of the road. And I started my own incantation. I move round your house right now. I move round your shop. I move round your office. Can I see you moving around now? Something is happening. Reverse it. 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 Hey! In the name of Jesus. I looked at the man face to face. When you carry God, you look at human faces as if they are children. I looked at him, I said, anybody you have tied here, I set him free. I release him. I declare, whoever this cowrie represents, I reverse it. I said in the name of Jesus, as I hit you, I scatter you. I hit the basket. The whole thing scattered. The man could not talk. May your enemies become dumb. Every token that is working against you. They get it. It looks normal, but it's not normal. It is coming from an altar. I hit it with my leg. The whole thing scattered. As I entered my car to drive off, the man said, Waka, I match my brake. 
I return waka. He that digs a pit shall fall inside it. A thousand will fall on your left side. Ten thousand will fall on your right side. I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him do I trust. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no Your deliverance is here. Every token that says you can't get married. Every token that says nobody can rise out of your family. Every token. Lift your hands. I see angels all over the place. By the covenant of salt. By the covenant of salt, even your children will not suffer what you suffered. Masa tegadehe, lift up your two hands. I see angels all over the place. Aya kande kahu ya yangu shi ande ya kwa winga yangu ni huzia. Just roll the keyboard. Lift up your right two hands. There's a change. There's an abortion of journey of shame. Lift your face as if you're looking up. Just be quiet. Lift your hands. I see an angel with a bottle of oil. Ah, handy. Hadosh shada. Lekuta badananda dadoshe. Anything that they brought from a shrine that is speaking against you by the covenant of salt, I attack it right now. <laughs> Lift your face as if you're looking up. Wherever you are, online, wherever you're watching from, lift your hands, lift your face. Hey. Two minutes. Walls are coming down. There's an oil. Yes. 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 That is it. 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 Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Talking from the altar. Hey! Two minutes. Lift your face up. Close your eyes. Lift your two hands. I see angels all over the place. There's a reverser. I am coming from the altar. By the covenant of salt. Hey. Just be still. And know. That I am God. Yes, yes. The oil, the oil is dropping, it's dropping, it's dropping on you, it's dropping on you. Power of God. That yoke is broken. That yoke is broken. That yoke is broken. It's broken. It's broken. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Ah, Yahanda. Help that woman. Help that woman. Put her down. Akshika take it to ya. I manifest in somebody's house now. I manifest in somebody's office. Whether you are in the car, I manifest in that car. Every token from an altar that is affecting your movement dies now. Lift your face up, lift your hands up. Something is happening here. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Yes. I hear the sound of abundance. Let God arise. 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 
let God arise hey can you speak in tongues where you are speak in tongues speak in tongues speak in tongues there's a release there's a release there's a release Jesus by the covenant of salt I have my token Jesus Jesus yes yes there's power on you now there's power on you angels are traveling to your village now they are traveling to your office now they are visiting somebody's wardrobe now yes 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 hey! Jesus Jesus is on you, it's on you, it's on you. Power of God. Jesus in the name of Jesus by this token the covenant of salt I declare upon this altar he makes their tokens liars that means whatever their token says cannot work again you know point number five says that at the altar you must talk with your own mouth no man keeps quiet even when the shrine knows what you came for you must say with your mouth if I bring you to the altar I will not talk for you you must talk with your mouth anybody who brought you to this altar tonight has done you a great favor people are moving around from place to place from church to church because a lot of churches don't have any fire on them you are in a place where there is fire I feel fire all over me. If I get into what is in me now, but I'm going to pass it through the token. And I'm going to tell you to talk. People are suffering because they were quiet while the wicked was talking.
they tell you you can never get married you say are you God that is not the reply the reply is I reverse it I will get married you're asking me a question are you God somebody listen to me today rise on your feet I'm going to take this last four minutes remaining for me I will transfer you to you to talk if you are not talking let another person collect your own you know one thing about the token it is a robot it does whatever it is told <laughs> listen to me declare that marriage now declare that visa now declare that healing now you are at the altar when you come back you will see the result because a miracle is waiting for you at home when you return now by the covenant of salt I speak and I gather the oil on the head of every man that spoke in let God arise every oil on their head and the ones that are coming after me I combine every oil and I put it in this token of salt whatever that was spoken against your father that started following you will expire right now if you have a problem in your family while you're praying now I need you to do a spiritual walk and just be moving around your family house around your shop, around the market just be moving around open your eyes so that you don't collide with someone but I need you to talk because this altar is waiting to execute open your mouth and begin to talk right now pray over your children over your husband over your wife over your brothers and sisters come on come on come on i reverse i reverse God arise. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. One more prayer. Don't bind. Don't reverse. Command what was stopped to come in. Become a prophet now. Command the wedding. Command the money. Command the job. Command the visa. Command the house. Command the contract. Let them begin to locate you and your family. By this covenant. Open your mouth. Something is coming now. Something is coming now.
in the name of Jesus in one minute lift your hands and give him thanks back from the altar something will meet you when you live out here now in 24 hours the remaining 7 days unbelievable miracles give him thanks In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout amen like thunder. Can it sound like thunder really? When you come back home and they ask you where are you coming from? I am back from the altar. On this mountain, don't miss your place. Don't miss your place. I'm going to ask for those who will come with at least two people tomorrow. When I start ministering, I'm going to give you a prophetic word. I am confident because I know God hears me. Take your seat in two minutes. Give the Lord a hand. Give the Lord a hand. Give the Lord a hand. If I continue on this, believe me, some of you will not sleep well tonight because there is something on this altar that will follow you home. Any token inside anybody's wardrobe where you live it will get burnt overnight because salt has returned to your house come with somebody get your colleague get your neighbor if possible pay for their transport tomorrow I am going to speak on grace for recommendation No matter how talented you are, there are platforms you can never climb till you are recommended. It's possible that your delay is because the right voice to introduce you has not come. Get ready. You're about to enter places without qualification. Some of you are not married because the person coming to marry you, somebody met him on the way and he recommended you. Turn them to another recommendation. Something will happen tomorrow. I beg you, don't miss. Come on time, connect. <laughs> get ready to get jobs without applying. That is the power of recommendation. Appointments when you never met anybody. Something is about to happen to you. The covenant of salt is working. And tonight, there is no altar that does not collect sacrifice. I didn't get into that matter. But somebody listened to me. Where I'm standing is a place of exchange. I saw my father give out his only car. And he said to me, my son, I'm doing it because of you and your siblings. None of you will ever go down. In my presence, he gave out the only car in the family. 
and started using transport. When I saw that, I said, okay. I followed. I can't enter shrines and, cock, and, and scatter it with my leg just because I'm massive. If you make sacrifices, I make sacrifices. Drop the sacrifice and let the altar reply themselves. I need you. This is not a joke. It's not a joke. I'm going to ask you to think of what you can give God. But for tonight, I'm going to tell you on this altar, whoever that has gone on a journey against me to any altar, let this altar wait for them. And I need you to put a seed on this altar right now. If you have up to 3,000 with you, if you have up to 3,000 with you, stand up, bring it, and drop it on this altar right now. Come on, come on, come on. This is not a competition. We have been given every day of this. Let God arise. Stand up. Come, just drop it. And say, God, I believe. I believe. By the covenant of salt, if you have 2,000, join. If you have 1,000, come on, come on, come on. Save my time. If you don't have, collect from somebody. There are places you sit down and say, I don't have. There are places you say, please give me. I must connect for myself. Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Move it, move it. If you have 1,000, if you have 500, move. If you have 500, move. If you have 200, if you have 100, this is not competition. In different ways. I have tasted of your power. If you don't have, collect from somebody. Jesus, you are too. Online, you can do a transfer. You are a great God. In different ways, I have tasted of your power. Jesus, you are too real. You are a Once you drop it, God. hold on. Once you drop it, get back to your seats and stand. So that Papa will speak the final word for today. Over us, something is working. Back from the altar. As you're dropping this, you're representing all the members of your family. One for all, all for one. Whether they are here or not, no token works against me again. By the covenant of salt. Come on, come on. Come on. Once you do that, stand at your place where you're sitting down, stand so that Papa can speak over our lives. Go ahead with the song. In different ways, I have tasted of your power. Jesus, you are too real. You are a great God. In different ways, I have tasted of your power. Jesus, you are too real, Lord. You are a great God. All your memory. 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 Yeah. 
I have tasted of your power. Jesus, not to you. You are a great God. In different ways, I have tasted of your power. Jesus, you are to you. the hills from where cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth the sun will not smite you by day nor the moon by night the Lord will preserve you from all evil he will preserve your soul. He will preserve your going out. When you go out, you go out successfully. When you come back, you come back successfully. He said, I have the keys of David. I am he that open it. And no man can shut. I am he that shut it and no man can open. But then he said, I give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. He has the keys, but he said, I give you the keys. He said, Whatsoever you bind, whatsoever you allow, whatsoever you permit on earth is permitted in heaven. In the name that is above every other name. May your life be a living token. As you hold a token in your hand, may you become a living token. That because of you, anybody who did not fear God, because of you, they will begin to fear God. They will see the hand of God upon your life. What they thought will never happen. They see it happen. They will fear God. <laughs> what they thought you can never get, they see you get it. They will begin to fear God. Where they thought you can never get to, they see you get there. They will begin to fear God. In the name that is above every other name, I command you to stand on your enemies. Use them as your footstool. Walk on them and step on them. For the hand of God rests upon you. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Ghost. Let me hear your amen like thunder. Has spoken a thing and it will come to pass when I have not spoken. God said, No one can speak against you. Why did He say no one can speak against you? Because, like you said, they hold the token, then they open their mouth, they speak words. That's why God said. Whatever they say cannot happen because I didn't say so. 
Now, if God says it cannot happen, you yourself, you know, get mouth. Say your own. And your own will happen. Because your own is what God said. Every time a child of God prays, you pray the word of God. The Bible says this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, what is the will of God? The word of God. If we ask anything according to the word of God, he heareth us. And if we know that he heareth us, we also know that we have the petition that we ask of him. If you are one of those who knows, you know that what you have asked is the will of God. And you also know he hears you and he has given you your petition. Lift your hands up and just worship him for a minute. Oh, you the man of God say that I told you that I had a dream before we started let God arise I told you I had a dream and in my dream I saw myself sitting here and I saw gifts around me so high that it was almost higher than me and I saw these men in white packing these gifts and giving them out and every time I hear the speaker say, I see angels, I see angels, God reminds me, my mind goes back to what I saw. I'm telling you something. I have said it before, surgery is taking place inside this hall. Surgery. There are angels that have become surgeons and they are operating on people working on your body working on you you will be surprised some of you don't even know what is happening it may take you a while before you realize what has happened to you thank you Lord thank you Jesus To stop here I have to stop I, I, I don't want to push this thing further but the, the, this, this thing is getting thicker it's getting heavier every day every day seven more days to go
listen to me did you do what I told you to do yesterday I did it myself I want you to do it every night today is Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday then Sunday and Monday and then finally the last day is Tuesday to do it if I be a man of God then let God prove himself in your life things are happening that you don't know of yet but they will begin to they will, be, they will get clearer to you as the days are rolling by seven days now some of you it will get it will get clearer it will get clearer in the next one day in the next two three days it will, it will get clearer to you you will understand it better by the grace of god i have to stop here now remember obey the man of god tomorrow come with people give them a chance to hear and to receive the spirit of this altar if people can go to a devilish altar we are on the mountain at this altar you remember what dr innocent said which is true moses went to meet with god on top of the mountain the reason he spent 40 days was not because the arrangement was for 40 days God did not come until the 40th day. So for 39 days, he was waiting for God. He was just there. Looking for God. Where are you? I'm here because of you. And he became fasting for him. And on the 40th day, God showed up. Our own is 31 days. God cannot leave you like this. Oh. This 31 days is an appointment with God. It's not an appointment with me. No. It's an appointment with God. I, I, I went to Asaba today. I was in Asaba this morning. <laughs> I went into whatever day because for certain reasons I had to. But I look at my time. When I look up, <laughs> I wave to all of them. God bless you. Buy your well now, maybe they go. <laughs> Somebody texted me as I was entering church. I entered the church half past three. Somebody texts me. Say, I didn't know when you left. I text back. I said, I left. And I am now in the church. There is something more important here. I promise you, seven more days, this God must visit you. If you believe it, let me hear your amen very powerful. God bless you. So sad, hallelujah. Papa, Let God Arise 2021 Speakers Rev. Dr. Ini Akon Rev. Sam Musaga Bishop Abraham Chigbundu 
Apostle Joshua Talina, Reverend Donna Dunze Jr., Reverend Tim Basha, Reverend Innocent Obey, and Reverend Mike Akindapo. From the 1st of August to 31st of August 2021, 4 p.m. weekdays, Sundays, first service 7 a.m., second service 9 a.m. Chief host Papa Ayo and Mama Helen Richard Jackford. Happening.